That NTSB investigator that you saw in Jeff's report said today that the train wreck could have been prevented by something called a positive train control system, or PTC. Congress ordered railroads to install the system by 2015, but most, including New York's Metro North, have not done that. And here's Bill Whitaker. This 2008 collision in Los Angeles between a commuter and freight train took the lives of 25 people and prompted Congress to act. Los Angeles is working to be the first city to get the PTC safety system up and running. Richard Katz is one of the directors of Metrolink, LA's commuter system. We believe that every year you delay positive train control, people will die that don't have to. Positive train control uses satellite technology to transmit signals from thousands of sensors on tracks, in trains, along railways, to a bank of central control computers. If a train is going too fast approaching a curve, like the Metro North train in New York Sunday, the system first will warn the conductor. If there's no human response, the system will respond. Positive train control can take over the controls of the train, and slow it down safely so there's no jamming on the emergency brake at the last moment or trying to fix a problem after it's already started. This is designed to prevent accidents from happening. Katz says LA is on track to have the system in place a year before the 2015 congressional mandate. There are many uh, train systems that say they can't meet that. It's too expensive, it's too soon. Well, we're spending close to $220 million on this system here. And I don't know how you put a price tag on lives and lives saved or accidents avoided. Scott, Los Angeles will begin testing the system this month. Operators of Metro North in New York say they need more time. And they've asked Congress for a three-year extension until 2018. That request is under review. Bill Whitaker in our Los Angeles newsroom. Bill, thanks very much.